Good morning, everyone. So I just wanted to give a little update on our summer travels. We spent some time in Utah, camping out along the Seaver River. Actually, well, no, we passed the Seaver River. We drove up through the Seaver River Valley. Uh, and to be honest, I don't know what we camped alongside of, but it was a beautiful creek. And the road that you are seeing right now is the road that led us to our wonderful campsite. We pulled in as the sun was setting and the light was just absolutely spectacular. I am presently walking out into a meadow with Fig. He is doing so incredibly well. He is my Greyhound, by the way. Um, we're now in the Absorca mountain range of Montana, which is outside of, just outside of Livingston. And there are no fences up here. We have many dogs <laughs> that are up at the cabin here. Um, and they all are getting along quite well. And Fig is living a dog's dream, and he is off leash all the time and enjoying the space. I am actually walking barefoot in a corduroy dress and my wool poncho. <laughs> it's a little bit chilly this morning. The sun is just rising in the sky. the low 40s last night. It was pretty cold. And here is the creek that we stayed at, that we camped next to in Utah. Actually saw four raccoons in this creek in the late evening. It was really incredible. And I have a feeling the wind might be getting a little too much for the audio. So for that, I do apologize. But I really sp felt inspired to say hello. I have not been on my phone much and I don't really intend to be. So uh, it's been really quite nice. And uh, I'd, rather, yeah, I'd rather keep the phone time to a minimum while I'm on this trip. And so I've, I've not been very good at responding to comments, and I do apologize for that. Um, I just, I just don't, I just don't want to be on my phone. There's too much beauty up here to be enjoying, too many places to visit, hikes to do, and journaling in the sunlight, drinking coffee in the early morning playing with Bean, all of these wonderful things, and it's nice to not be attached to my phone, and I've been leaving it around. Some of the places we've visited don't even have cell phone reception, and sometimes I just turn it off completely. But this morning is a phone morning, <laughs> and I am trying to put together just a little update. I am so happy to see Fig enjoying himself in this capacity. He, he has been up to Montana before. He's been to this place before and he did enjoy it. Uh, but it feels like he's even more in tune to the the environment and the landscape and, and the way of life up here, camping out and being a part of a pack. Uh, he's always been a bit of an aloof dog. 
He's a wonderful dog. He's friends to everybody, everything. Uh, he's so chill and laid back and easy. But he really enjoys his space by himself. And so I've never quite felt like we were a pack. And that's something that has brought me some sadness. And right now, as he walks next to me in the woods, he is a part of a pack. And it feels so wonderful. It brings so much joy to my heart. Last night, we were all dining on the porch by gas lamp, and it was cold, and it was dark, and the stars were absolutely incredible. We even got to see some of the moons of Jupiter through a scope. And Fig put himself to bed on his own in the tent cabin and it was really sweet to see that he knew he knows where home base is he knows where home is up here and he knows who his park is that makes me so happy and with that I will bid you all adieu until the next vlog update thank you guys for watching and sticking around and again i apologize i don't think i will be very good at responding to comments on this trip but i do appreciate them 